What is up guys, Ryan Maniac V2 and I have another tutorial for you guys today. It's going to be a Photoshop tutorial as you can see. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to wrap lines around your text. Kind of give that depth effect, 3D effect, whatever you want to call it. The vines or the lines or the stroke, whatever you want to call it. So this is an example right here and also this is an example over here. Um, this is a better example I think. Um, they're both not bad but this one's a little bit worse. But anyways, I'm going to start from scratch, or well, somewhat from scratch. Um, so what we're going to do um, first is get your object that you want your vines to wrap around and just put it where you want it. All right. And um, now we're going to go to the brushes. This is a very important step. And click the 3, 3 pixels brush, 3px. And um, make sure that it has selected to 3. And then go ahead and choose your color that you want your stroke to be in my case white or I can just hit default and switch the colors so there we go and uh, now what we want to do is hit the pen tool right here um, this is the easy way, I'm going to show you the easy way uh, for right now you're going to click on one end of the text and then another end of the text hold shift for a perfectly straight line and then just mess about with the text as you wish uh, with, with the line now using the pen tool this is not an in-depth tutorial about the pen tool, so if you're looking for that, um, it's not here. So just do exactly what I do, though, and you'll be fine. Uh, it'll be perfectly fine if you do exactly what I do. Uh, we'll just go with that for now. It doesn't look that good, but whatever. Uh, that's, I guess, that's fine. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do We're just going to go ahead. Right, that's, that's fine for now, whatever. Um, anyways, now what we're going to do is make sure you have your brush on 3, go to your pen tool again, right-click the path, and but before you right-click the path, make a new layer, a new layer, so that you can edit your path independently. Alright, so we're going to right-click on the path, and you're going to stroke the path, not fill the path, stroke the path with a brush. Make sure it's a brush. Alright, now I'm going to hit OK, and uh, You'll see we saw the path there, so we're going to have to right-click on the path and delete path. Uh, so now it looks okay, but for but we got to put some effects on it and make the depth effect um, make it look like it's going behind the text. So what we're going to do now is go to Layer Styles. We're going to click on FX. We're going to go to Outer Glow, and we're going to make the outer glow the same color as your object, if not lighter. But I can't get any lighter than white, so I'm just going to choose white. So the same color as your stroke, but just a little bit lighter. Change your spread to 6. And turn your size up a little bit. And I'd say about a 10 size. 10 size, that's good. And you can turn your opacity down a little bit. You know? Alright. Uh, that's fine. Whatever you want is fine. You know, you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Do your own stuff. Uh, hit OK. And then... What you're going to do on this layer, your stroke layer, is create a layer mask with this button next to the FX layer mask. And now you're going to go to your object layer, click on it, make sure it's highlighted. It doesn't matter if it's highlighted, but just control click inside this little box to select your um, object. Now go back and highlight your regular object like that, your uh, stroke object. And um, hit D on the keyboard to make your colors default. So make sure these are black and white. Go to the brush tool. Choose like a 26 size brush. Doesn't really matter. But uh, then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna uh, say this part right here. I want to go behind the text. We're just gonna color over it. Oops. We're going to uh, click. Up. Make sure you click on the layer mask, or else you're just gonna be coloring black over. So we'll click on that little mask, that little clip right there, that little white. Uh, thing next to the clip. Click on that, make sure there's a box around it, and then um, I want this part to go behind the text, so I'm just going to mask it out. And as you see, I didn't erase it where there's no text because I have the text selected so that it, whenever I erase, it's only erased inside the text. So now um, I don't want this one showing. There we go. So make sure you're, if you don't have a good brush Make sure you, uh, you know, if, if your flow is not all the way up, make sure you erase a couple times, just make sure it's all the way gone. And uh, this one, I want to keep there, and same with these two. 
So now when we hit Command D or Control D, we have our 3D stroke. Um, so there you go guys, that's how to do a 3D stroke around text. This is a simple way, you can do it much better on your own. Uh, just follow this tutorial and uh, you'll, you'll do good with it. Any questions or if you want a more advanced pen tool tutorial, uh, I recommend checking out some other videos on YouTube or just asking me and I'll do one for you. But thanks guys for watching, this has been Maniac. With you too, Ryan, giving you another Photoshop tutorial. Please like, comment, and if you really like this video, favorite it, and uh, subscribe, of course. I just hit 300 a few days ago, and the giveaway has been closed, and the winners have been picked. Thanks, guys. See you later.